Hi everyone, welcome to WeDesign Tech Support Team. In this video, I will teach you how to turn your WordPress site into an online school with the DTLMS plugin. Let's get started by installing the DTLMS plugin. Go to your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugin, and click add new on the left side. Then click upload plugin on the top and browse to select the DTLMS plugin file. You can download the DTLMS plugin from the link in the description below. After downloading, you need to extract the file. Then open the design themes LMS and click install and activate. Now you have successfully activated the DTLMS plugin on your site. Bonus tip, if you want some sample content, we have it ready for you. Just go to Tools and click Import. Then click Install Now on WordPress and run Importer. You can import the content file from the dummy content folder that we have provided. Now let me show you how to create classes and courses from scratch. Follow these steps carefully. First, we need to create some questions. Click all questions from LMS and then click add new. Here you can create different types of questions. Give a title and write a question in the paragraph section. Scroll down and you will see question options. The default question type is multiple choice. There are seven types of questions available. I will show you how to use each one of them. Multiple choice, you can write four answer options by default, but you can add or delete them as you wish. Just type the answer in the box. Multiple choice image, this is similar to multiple choice, but you can use images instead of text for each answer option. Just click upload and choose an image from your media library or upload a new one from your computer. Multiple correct, this is also similar to multiple choice, but you can select more than one correct answer for this type of question. True or false, this is simple, just choose whether the question is true or false. Gap fill, this is like fill in the blanks. Write your answer in the gap box. After choosing your question type, scroll up and click publish. Bonus tip, if you want to add many questions at once, you can import them from an Excel sheet. I will show you how. On the WordPress dashboard, hover over LMS and click settings. Then click import and upload file. Select your Excel sheet file and import it to the DTLMS plugin. This is how you can import multiple questions to the DTLMS plugin. Here is an example of how the Excel sheet should look like. Next, we need to create a quiz for our questions. Click all quizzes from LMS and then click add new. Here you can create different types of quizzes. Give a title and a description if you want. Scroll down and fill out the options as per your preference. I will show you an example, watch carefully. and click add questions. You can select the questions that you created before from the drop-down menu and assign grades for each question. You can add as many questions as you want. Next, you need to choose a category for your quiz. This is like the subject of your quiz. You can add new categories by clicking add categories. You can add as many categories as you need. After completing everything, click Publish to save your quiz. Next, we have to create an assignment for our subject. Click All Assignments from LMS and then click Add New. Give a title and content as per your need. Enable Unlock Assignment and give a subtitle and maximum marks. Now enable the text area and attachment options so that your users can write and attach their files to the assignment. For the attachment, you can specify the file format and maximum size of your image or document. You can also set a duration time limit for your assignment. After completing everything, click Publish. If you want to add lessons to your course, you can do that by clicking Add Lessons and then Add New. Give a title and content as per your need. Enable Unlock Lessons. In the Curriculum section, you can add sections, quizzes, and assignments as per your need. You can also set a duration and maximum mark. 
Finally, click Publish to save. Now we have created lessons, quizzes, and assignments. To put them all together, we have to create courses. For that, click All Courses from LMS and then click Add New. Give a title and content as per your need. If you scroll down, you will see the WooCommerce option. This option allows you to set a price for your course for your buyers. You can set the price as per your need. If you want to add a feature image or video for this course, you can do that by clicking Set Feature Image and choosing an image or video from your media library or uploading a new one from your computer. Then let's move to the course option. First, go to General Settings. In General Settings, you have four types of page layouts to choose from. You can also add a co-instructor for your course. Then enable the Feature Course option and select the Social Share items as per your need. If you want to show related content from your other courses, enable this option. Then click Publish for each setting or you can click Publish at the end. Let's move on to Add Curriculum in the Curriculum section. Here you can add sections, quizzes, assignments, and lessons that we have created earlier. If you want to add any attachments for this course, go to Attachment Options and click Upload Attachment. You can add as many attachments as you want for this course. There is no limit. If you want to add some extra content in the sidebar, go to Sidebar option and enable it and type the content that you want to add. Now move to the Start Date option. This option allows you to schedule the date when the course will begin. If you want to sell this course before the scheduled date, just enable this option. Now move to the Capacity option. This option allows you to limit the number of students who can enroll in this course. You can enable it or leave it as per your preference. Next, move to the Course Prerequisites option. This option allows you to add another course as a prerequisite for this course. You can select the prerequisite course by clicking on the drop-down menu. Now let's move on to the Certificate option. Enable this option and give a percentage to get a certificate for this course. If your student gets equal or higher than this percentage of marks, they will get this certificate. Then upload your template for the certificate. The final option is the badge option, which is similar to the certificate option. Now we have successfully created our course. Now we have reached the final step for this DT LMS plugin. We have to create classes for our courses. Click all classes from LMS and then click add new. Give a title and content as per your need. If you want to add a feature image for this class, you can do that by clicking Set Feature Image on the right side. Then you can set the price for this class. Now let's start the class option setting. In general, you have four types of page layouts to choose from. You can also make this a feature class if you want. In the curriculum, you can add courses. Give content titles as per your need and in Add Courses, you can add as many courses as you want. Next, move to class type. In the class type, you can choose whether online or on-site classes. For this example, I am choosing on-site, which shows many options. You can set a start date and a capacity for this class. You can also enable purchase and registration options if you want. You can provide your address and GPS location for the students to come and attend your class. If you want to give some extra content, go to Tabs and add extra information for this class. Now go to the Sidebar option. This is the same as the sidebar of the courses. Next, go to the Certificate option. You should enable the certificate to issue a certificate to the students. In the certificate template, there is nothing because I haven't created a certificate yet. If you want to create a certificate, go to All Certificates and create one. The last option is the Badge option which is similar to the certificate option, but you can upload the badge here. After completing everything, click update to save your class. Now we have successfully created a class. Bonus tip, if you want to make bundle courses, click all packages from LMS and then click add new. Give a title and content as per your need. Then set a price for the package. In the package option, you can add a subtitle if you want. Now we have to add courses to the package by clicking on the box. The list of all courses will show up and you can add as many courses as you want. The same goes for the classes. You can also set a number of periods to complete this bundle of courses. Finally, click Publish to save. This is how the DT LMS plugin works. Now let's see a preview of our online school. This is how you can turn your WordPress site into an online school with DT LMS plugins. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new today. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Shopify tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.